guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 15 and 16 of Jabba's Reincarnation. This is going to get started with episode 15 in 3, 2, 1, go. Honestly, it feels like it's been forever since I've watched the show, even though this has been like a week. <laughs> Crescent, <laughs> fucking Rudy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you want to spend time with you, puppy? <laughs> Spying. <laughs> no. God, just still reminds you, like, you know, you see how happy she is now, but then you're like, oh yeah, remember what happened? Mm. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, honestly, are we ever going to see her again? Because, you know, so, once again, when that one episode ended and they separated, like, oh, God. Mm. 
Damn. But it's true though. It's completely different. Mm -hmm. God, she better not be fucking dead. That's gonna piss me off. Hell of that ass. Oh, my God, it's so cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like in a way everyone hates studying some way, shape, form. I mean, me, I do like to study, but depending on how I feel and my day is, sometimes I don't. I mean, you know what? Why not? I mean, you have time. Who knows when the next time you guys are going to leave and see Roxy and them. Because, I mean, we're getting closer and closer to the end of the show. I mean, she's doing good for a newbie. Like, damn. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's 
not a joke. No. She really is different. Completely different from what you said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, hey, she using her whole surrounding as her advantage, and I fucking love that. She's like, yeah, it's the environment. Bitch, let's go. Like, ooh. It's a smart ass right there. Because, of course, Tron has become, like, attached to her. Oh, God, Eddie, let's not talk about your family, please. Not right now. I mean, oh, God, somebody, you know, she, you just want to be, you know, like, let's talk about the elephant in the room, babe, because you don't know. Oh, damn. Damn. <laughs> How we go from, yes, let's be sweet and kind of. Bitch, let me kick your ass. Trona was just like, fuck it. I will make it the bad girls club up in this episode today. Oh my god, honey. Ooh. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, don't you want to say goodbye? Tona! And so, of course, he regrets that. Mm-hmm. And you could have also had a better relationship with your sister. And hopefully, one day, that gets to happen. You never want to end a friendship on a bad way. Because you just don't know what could happen and I'm starting to cry I don't want to cry 
But seriously, never end your friendships in a bad way. Always end them in a positive way. Because you never know what the fuck is going to happen. I mean, hey, we got time. <laughs> Babe.
excuse me. Honestly, this is a good episode. Made me cry because of what I talked about. Um, but good. Really, really good. I mean, like, to see, you know, it is, like, fighting with Tona, like, that hurt, and that also made me tear up as well. But to really more of what I said, that also got me, and that, me, that got me big time, too, where I was just like... I, I didn't want to cry. Did not want to cry today. Wanted to have a nice, good, chilling night. Even though uh, the situation that we're dealing with here in Florida today, or this weekend, or really in this in the tri-state area of a certain part of Florida where I live in, and such, and even though we are all currently pissed at our water company, you know, you gotta be positive in that same form. But yeah, this episode kind of really went by fast. I was not imagining that to go by fast. But I, I like, even, it, it just still hurts because it is just like, yeah, I want to get home, even though I love being out here, and, you know, we gotta move on, and I want to see all these other places, and how she's like, yeah, I just want to get home, and I'm like, yeah, I know you want to get home, but then you ain't gonna have a home to go to, baby, like, your grandpa is dead, baby girl. Like, oh my god. I don't even know if your actual parents are dead, too. Like, bruh, we don't know anything. Like, oof. Like, literally. Rudy and Glenn are all that she has. As of now. And such. Then also the situation on, like, yes. When the fuck are Rudy and Roxy gonna see each other again? I mean, cause, like, I, I'm, I'm ready for it. I've been ready for it for a good ass minute, and I, I felt like I've still been waiting for that shit. But that's okay, I can wait longer, because, um, well, no, we'll, so, we'll talk about that when I get into the next episode, because I do have a question, because, uh, especially, like, with the next two episodes that I have to watch after, the, after these two episodes and such, because I know I'm going to probably have to watch, um this episode, but I think I was gonna, at first I was gonna wait, but yeah, we'll talk more on that, but yeah, it was very good. <laughs> heartwarming and in the feels because of course it just reminds you of when you have a friend or a group of friends and then one of them is and like possibly moving and then you have this cute little mini fight and you're you don't want to be excuse me quote unquote the bigger person and apologize but you don't want to end or this moment the last time that you're seeing this person on the wrong foot so of course yes you have to apologize and move on and you know 
send them off with a smile. You always want to send someone off with a smile because once again, in the world today, you never truly know um, what can and will happen to people because one minute they can be here and the next minute, just like that, they're gone. And it's just, it's horrifying. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 16. Okay, episode 16 in 3, 2, 1, go. Beautiful. I feel like there's a reason why he wants him to visit that, but, you know, we'll find out. Yeah. I don't know why, but I'm getting, like, hella Venice vibes. I mean, it, it's a, a city on water, and, you know, your girl wants to go to Venice, it'll be so fucking bad. Like, ugh. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, hey, he is right on that. Okay.
I know they're nice, huh? I mean, hey, I think she'll be fine. She can handle her own. This is a badass, independent. We can call her old woman in a way. So, yeah. go somewhere where like well beach us yes and just chill and listen to the waves think it's what you think it is, Rudy. Something about this is fishy, yes. Please tell me you're not going to put the panties over your face. He put the panties over his face. <laughs>
I think he's still gonna kick your ass even though he's drunk. Right? Paul? Oh, fuck. plan Well, in the S, you know. Uh -uh. But it's not goofing off though. Of course. It sounds like you are, though.
Really? That's why he wanted him to, oh my God. I don't know, Rudy. I really don't know this time.
complicated. Yes, but... Over here, like, what should I do? Oh my god! <laughs> Hug him, hold him, something. Words of encouragement. <laughs> there you go. Mm, babe, it's okay. It takes time. This was depressing. This really was. Like, it, it was good. Good. And then to, like, oh, to see Paul again after such a long ass time. And then seeing these two argue and seeing his ba one of his baby sisters, like, oh, my God, my heart. And it's just, you pray that this whole family are able to see each other again and that, you know, everything's going to be okay. But, you know, sometimes in the world of anime, not everything can be okay. Oh, and the fact that there have been some people who are insane. And Sylvie, please let Sylvie be okay. I don't want her to be enslaved or worse. Like, oh my god, like, yes, I need Rudy's mom to be fine too because I like his mom. Don't let anything happen to her. I swear to God. I mean, oof. Please don't. No. And then Sylvie. That, that's babe. That's baby. Especially this baby girl that we need to protect. That's the future girlfriend. as probably even wife. So, of course, we gotta protect her because I want her to join and stuff. I was, I, I don't know why, like, for a moment, when his sister opened the door, I honestly, in my mind, and I didn't say anything, but in my mind, I thought that was Roxy, and I was like, oh, are we gonna get it? And then I was like, okay, never mind. But, like, oh, this just... Okay, reunited. That, that, it, it, it's probably finally happening next week. Um... This just hurt. This hurt, and it hurt a lot. I mean, if if the previous episode made me cry over the reasons that I had talked about, this episode would have made me cry because of the argument that Paul and Rudy had. Because it's very emotional, and the feelings that you get, like, it just feels like, you know, at, in that moment, you are there sitting it, at a table in this guild, like, just hearing them argue over this shit. Like, it, it's big. And then the fact is that he's like, you know, yes, of course, Rudy is surprised because the fact is he didn't look at, up anything. And because he thought, or really more, quote unquote, assumed that his home village would have been safe. And sometimes you cannot assume, no offense, assuming makes you look like an asshole or, you know, well, an idiot. But I, I thought, I think in his mind, he was thinking my hometown's going to be okay. And not knowing that, boom, this is what led up to it, that everyone is separated, even in this small ass town. And possibly we will maybe never even see some of these characters. I feel like with this, it because something tells me we're going to probably go into season two with most of these characters still, quote unquote, missing. Because we're about to go into episode 17 next week. 17 and, well, we'll talk about that in a minute. Just, we'll say 17 right now, next week. And we're, once again, we're getting closer and closer to the end of this show. Even though the next episode is titled Reunited, that could be, like, still the Rudy and Roxy thing instead of the Rudy, Paul, and his family. <sighs> Excuse me. Being reunited. I feel like with that, it's not going to be as easy as I think it is. It's going to take time to reunite that family. And I feel like 
we're probably going to get that by the end of this going into season two. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, both episodes were good. You gave me the feels like always with this dang show. Fucking love it. Cannot wait until the next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episodes 15 and 16 of Jabba's Reincarnation. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for once again, because we're about to go into it, what I like to call episode 17. Okay, so from what I had did a little research on, I think maybe about a week or two ago, um, was that this show did get an OVA. I think I was on Twitter around the time um, when they said that this show had like an OVA and that it was already like out and stuff. And so I was thinking that like, I was like, okay, so typically with OVA shows, those are usually the last episodes um, that I end up watching. Well, so I went on my list um, about a week or two ago before I, of course, recorded this. And I saw that episode 17 is the OVA episode. So it's episode 17 and 17.5. And so I was thinking before I had made it into an official file with the episode that I was like, okay, this is probably going to be like a half episode, maybe like five, not five, ma yeah, yeah, at the time I was thinking like five, maybe like five to 15 minutes long. No, it is a whole 23 episode minute um episode which I'm guessing is whatever happens in episode 17 is whatever's gonna happen in that and then episode 17.5 is maybe a different POV so I feel like if 17 is of course this whole season one is Rudy's show in a nutshell this whole series is focused on Rudy's POV that 17.5 might be an Edis focused episode which I am here for because I love her dearly and I want to see what she's going to get into for it because you know she went goblin you know <laughs> slaying today and I feel like we're going to see that in 17 which I'm like I said once again not mad at it but because at first I was like yeah I was like do I have to watch this now and I'm guessing I do have to watch it now so once we get into next week I'm guessing I'm gonna try to watch it on my at least on Monday when I come home from work, that'll be 17 and 17.5. And then probably when I come home Wednesday after work, um, that will be probably the day that I will watch both 18 and 19. Because I do want to get this show done quickly. Because we are so close to the end. And because also, I want to see how season one ends. Even though season two, we're, we're, we're still in summer. And we're not into 2023. But still, it feels like 2023. It's just knocking on like, hey. You're getting close to the end of this. You need to get ready for this next season. So, yeah. <laughs> so, that is the goal for this next week. Even though I am, once again, going to be busy as hell, as always, with work and everything else. And still wondering how the hell I do it. But, yeah. Until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.